baseball team being the favorite in Class A. The Midgets are ranked number one in both the statewide and conference coaches polls, plus they only graduated one player from their state championship team. It's the WDA opener for both Century and Dickinson, and Alan Reed was there for us. Leading 3 0 in the bottom of the first, Dickinson highs McKenna. Uh, Medina singles past third and short that will bring in Kendall Peterson. Now with the bases loaded a little bit later, it'll be the midgets. Uh, Maya Mary sends a blast down the right field line that will drop for extra bases. Reagan McMahon scores. Madeline Brent scores as well and the lead grows. Then uh, the midgets will continue to capitalize here, taking advantage of a little pass ball as Emily uh, Sailor Hustles down the line, slides in safe. It was an eight-run lead after one. Century's lone hit in the first four innings off of Avi Yonner was Ashlyn Schumacher. She would end up with a triple. Dickinson, though, would go on to win it by the final of 11-1 to and sweep the day 13-6. to Well, the capital city in the softball, it's the Demons hosting the Sabres. Top of the first inning here. It's uh, Micah uh, Heinemeyer sending a one toward the fence. It goes for a two-run double. She had three hits and three RBI on the day. Bottom of the first, Jersey Berg is up. She goes opposite field, and it goes over the fence. It's a solo home run to make it three to one. She will be in the spotlight tomorrow, a four-hit day for Berg in game one. Then uh, Brielle Rangham follows up. Next batter sends it right over the fence as well. She had four hits and five RBI as BHS wins it. The wind was blown out. Could you tell? 30, uh, excuse me, there was a total of 58 runs scored in that doubleheader, and BHS took both of them. Well, Legacy was the preseason pick by the baseball coaches in the WDA. Dickinson is number three in the poll. It's the season opener for both of these programs today. Pick it up, top of the first. It is a Riker Zeet snagging a little line drive and starting a 1-3 double play to help his team get out of the inning. And on the offensive side, it's Marcus Butts for the Sabres with a man on second, ripping that one to the left field. It brings the run in, and the Sabres would grab the lead. They played with the lead for most of the day. Actually, I think the whole day. But it's uh, Harrison Johnson with the bases loaded to squeeze in that one in. as a couple runs scored again. Legacy scores nine twice and sweeps the doubleheader. Final was 9-2 to two and 9-5. to five. Over in Mandan, things got started with the Braves sweeping the Demons 7-1 and 5-4. Earlier today, U. Mary hosting Dickinson State in a non-conference baseball game. There's a little look at that wind that was blowing as Connor Kerchofter got a strikeout. This was in the fourth inning of this game, but at the very next hitter is Nathaniel Jillick and that wind blowing hard out to right field and it can not be played out there. Goes to the fence. Jillick, well, he just keeps on running around until he slides in safely. That's the fifth run and the game winning run because the final here was five to four as the runner scored four in the bottom of the ninth. Up in Minot, it was uh, Minot State softball team taking two from you, Mary. And in uh, Milwaukee, the first game, the home of a two-game series, goes to the Brewers, three to two. And also, DSU's Corey Nagel is the field athlete of the week in the North Star. She's a junior from center, automatic qualifying.